we are talking the mo not just any inventory we are not talking oh a one million dollar inventory no we are talking the most expensive inventory in the whole game bro a lot of accounts got banned by steam yes a lot of accounts who received items from him are being banned as we speak the souvenir dragon law holders who got uh, items traded from from the hacked account some of them got trade banned bans are happening as we speak scar pattern stat oh, track two different um, ones hacker seems to have fumbled the bag though two to three million dollars and you're probably only getting 100 to 200k yes some of the items got quick sold on a russian marketplace on the biggest which still looks i don't know it still looks very very sus the biggest russian marketplace things like the Hiko pattern karambit, the original Hiko pattern, stat track minimal wear, which Chinese collectors would have probably paid upwards of. We have Mango Duck in the chat right now. Mango Duck, how much would you have offered? About 50,000, around 80,000? We don't know. Uh, we are talking the largest, most unique, most collect worthy inventory in CSGO being hacked and items being traded around as we speak, accounts getting banned. I don't even know where to start. That's the problem, you know? I don't even know where to start, bro. I, I thought I would go live today, be like, yippee, we hit 100K on YouTube, and then all of a sudden, the biggest inventory in CSGO gets hacked. Huh? How did he even get hacked? Uh, it's weird. It's weird. He did not receive an email to the account that's connected to his Steam. No email. He did not... Um, receive an email about the email being changed of his account, about the password being changed. I don't know. Apparently, it looks like it. Of course, he must have gotten hacked at least a week ago. Because else, if you change your email and your password, you can't trade any items for the next seven days. So, it's, 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 it's assumed to have happened a week ago or eight days ago, nine days ago, that he got hacked. He didn't see it. Either he didn't get an email or he just didn't look at his email inbox. I am unsure social engineer or inside job i don't know about that i thought as well maybe someone got to his pc or something you know but but i don't think so it's like the the, the hacker seems to be russian uh, or at least like it seems to be in the russian scene um because the items did get sold on the russian marketplace as i just said at least a, a bunch of them not all of them it's weird it's weird the per like uh, brother i'm not even kidding when 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 i heard about this today like a friend of mine just messaged me hey man I'm, I'm not even kidding. This is how it started today. This is how it started. A friend messaged me. Hey, man, look at this. HFB just unprivated his inven uh, inventory. And I was like, yippee. This is a free clip. The biggest CSGO inventory, the most infamous inventory just got unprivated. Guys, look at this. And I thought, holy sh**. Let me, let me keep the tab open just in case he unprivates, uh, just in case he privates it again. So we have a nice clip. So we have a nice video. To, we have something nice to talk about, right? It's the, the biggest inventory finally going unprivate again. Uh, but no, but no. The first thing that happened that was a little bit sus was one item selling on buff, which people immediately saw um, because the price was absolutely disgusting. Um, it, it was a quick sale to the maximum, yeah? And then it was already like, okay, maybe something sussy is going on. We are talking about not just any Sport Gloves Pandora's box. No, we are talking about the number one lowest float Pandora's box gloves in the game, AKA the most expensive gloves in all CSGO, okay? HFB had that. We are talking about HFB. HFB is the person who got hacked. Okay, just uh, because I know a lot, for a lot of people it's a lot, for me it's a lot, um, especially, you know, it will be even more for people who are not really in the scene, who don't really know about HFB. He is the most infamous, most secretive private collector uh, of CSGO skins that has ever existed. He, is, he has the biggest inventory in whole CSGO, including the most legendary items, including the Hiko Karambit, the original one, which Hiko used to own himself back in the day. We are talking multiple souvenir dragon laws. I checked again, it's not four souvenir dragon Dragon Lost, it's a, uh, I think it's five or something, which he sometimes even scraped the stickers on, uh, uh, which I, by the way, f uh, found a little bit morbid. I, I was talking to Roffel Monster immediately after I, I don't know, like immediately after we thought a little bit, okay, something weird is going on. Roffel Monster said the answer, <laughs> Bruder, I told him that the Hiko pattern uh, got quick sold, right? That he probably got hacked. LMFAO, now that is a trade. That's what you get for scraping souvenirs. <laughs> Of course, it's a joke. HFB was a type of guy to 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 scrape stickers from souvenir items, even souvenir dragon laws, um, which make them not worthless, uh, worthless, but uh, it is quite the punishment, at least for for collectors. And here, here are some examples. This is one of the dragon laws that the HFB used to own, which now got traded away because someone got access to his account. This is the lowest float souvenir dragon law in the world, who now got uh, 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 traded away from his account to the hacker, most likely. Here's another one. He also had the second most lowest float one which also had all the stickers removed also got traded 
to someone else. Some of these accounts you will see later on. This is, it's a lot. It's a lot. That's all I can say, okay? We have a lot to talk about. We have a lot to unravel. It's, 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 it's pretty deep. This is one of the accounts where the, one of the souvenir dragon laws went. This account already being community banned. And this ban is recent, aka what I'm thinking is happening right now, what I'm hoping for is happening right now, and what appears to be is happening right now is um, Steam banning accounts which receive these type of items. What is this? I added one of the people that bought an M9 Stat Trek FN from him, and the items just got deleted from his inventory that bought an M9. Okay, so this was probably one of the items that got bought via the, the Russian marketplace. I don't know if he's lying. I added one of the people. It may as well be that the guy just put it into a storage unit and is trying to hide it because now everyone is talking about it, yeah? I wouldn't take this for granted. I would be very, very cautious because the people that did buy the item maybe uh, in some situations may even be involved, yeah? Because we have sales of, for example, Wait, 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 this is an important one. We have sales uh, from items that literally are worth $100,000 and sold on a Russian marketplace for like $1,500. We may say that the that the hacker is, is clueless and just wanted to, to, to quickly cash out, but hey, you could have sold the item for $10,000, $15,000. I don't know if private listings are even possible on the marketplace. One thing I must say as well, is it scary? Is it scary if, if, if you have a lot of skins in your inventory yourself? Should you be scared? Yes, of course. We don't really know what happened here. It is the biggest inventory in CSGO. He had these items for years and years and years and years and years. And he's not that clueless. He's not... He has, from what I've heard, his accounts seems to be secured. Um, and still, all of the items are gone. AKK Sarden 661 on market. Apparently, even the hacker sold scar patterns on the market. Let me check it. But I think as well that the accounts are getting banned, if I'm not mistaken, right? Recently updated. Yeah, these ones are the ones that probably sold on the market. I'm not sure. So as I said, it happened with the Pandora's box earlier this morning. And then you already know, okay, something sussy probably happened because the Pandora's box gloves did in fact sell for market price, even though they should have been worth maybe like double or something. Yeah. And uh, which is weird, which was already like a big red flag. We are talking about HFB. We are not talking about a trader or a, a skins guy that knows about skins. No, we talk about HFB. I don't want to talk about him in a way as if he's like stupid. He's not. Absolutely not. He, but he doesn't really know about the, at least I think so, about these marketplaces. It's buff. There's no way that HFB made a buff account and, and, and sold the skin on buff using API trading. There's no way. Okay. So it seems like items are getting deleted. Like Is that actually. true though? Do we have someone who we know who we can actually ask for proof like who we trust? Because I feel like, like people are just uh, uh, privating them. The, the thing is, if they're privating them in storage units, right, then they should have modification date but all of them do not have today's modification date check this one for example check storage units all of them are April, I see. good June. call good call good call it's a really good sign none of them updated today june 7th is the earliest one m9 crimson web which he should have had stat track factory new gone what we know about the two million dollar hack hfb did not log into his account for three years name and profile picture changed friend list deleted he still has active mobile authenticator but email plus password changed makes no sense people who bought the skins from the account are mostly all community banned the items that were sold from hfb's hacked account seem to be disappearing from the new owners i speculate this hack could be the result of a steam error so they might actually make things right and revert it will update you when i know more yeah i did talk to zip as well and he seemed a little bit reluctant of like uh, uh, of actually taking action but it does seem to be i i said hey amen it is the biggest inventory it's not just any inventory it is the biggest inventory and it does look like that valve care they should care because i'm f i'm a little bit worried now buddha hey everyone should be yeah because there does seem to be a problem with maybe like steam accounts or like you know just got reported by the friend who bought pandora's boxes from hfb it just disappeared okay so it's absolutely official items are getting deleted right now and that is a really 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 good sign but as well very very difficult to solve because i don't know how this will get handled you got to think about this that this is a transaction that happened valve may be thinking right now that the items got sent to a hacker, but no, the item got verified through Buff. It was a sale. The guy paid over twenty thousand dollars for these gloves, and it's hard for Valve to solve, I assume, to know which items actually just landed in a new hacker's inventory and uh, 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 which is uh, 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 which which got sold. I don't know. I don't know how they handle it. Buff about to get shut down. Uh, I mean, I hope not. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I assume Valve won't do anything about external sales since they don't support or encourage those. So you do you. Think think that the buyer will get f 
The buyer of the scammed items. Buyers in shambles. We have a lot of buyers. Booty, can you send me the screenshot of the top sales of the uh, uh, Russian site? Perfect. I mean, I don't want to say perfect. I, I don't know. This guy DM'd me as well. He said, hey, man, can you help me with selling my red line? Uh, and we already saw Booty and I. We were on a Discord call and we were like, hey, this is the one that, you know, the scammer just sold on a, on a marketplace. What happened is he received the red line at the bottom through a trade, through an API marketplace trade, right? He paid for this uh, skin. I think he paid 30. How much did he pay, Booty? Sure. $30,000 $30, for yeah. this red line right here. And then support undid one or more of your prior actions. So the AK got deleted for now. Maybe survive can investigate. I don't know. I, I, I don't know if they will keep it deleted forever. It is a tough situation to fix because the scammer didn't just uh, uh, sell the items on a Steam marketplace and they can just refund the balance or somehow freeze their balance. No. Some items got sold on Steam marketplace. Some items got sold on a Russian marketplace. Some items got sold on a uh, 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 buff. What stickers had the red line? Buddha. It was 4XI by Power Holo. Stat track minimal wear. If I'm not mistaken, it was the lowest float. AK red line with Forex Iber Power Holos. It is a it is the lowest float one in fact, yes. Thirty thousand dollars is to be honest, the hacker did get the price somewhat right on this item. F cam. Is my cam getting hacked, Monka? This is the site where some of the items got sold. The Russian marketplace. And the item that I do want to talk about the most is the AK Redline that we just saw, of course. The lowest float one, Forex Iber Power Holo one. And as well, which is to me. Chat, when I saw this, I was actually, I was molding. A stat track karambit, minimal wear, which sold for $1,500. It says 51,000 rubles. I think it's $1,500, uh, right, Booty? No, 900, 900. Yeah. $900? Yes. And look at this. Look at the item which it was. A stat track minimal wear karambit case on. It was this one. This is the one that HFB used to own. It still shows in his inventory, but it's already in a new inventory of the buyer. And it is the, I'm not saying it is... A, I'm saying the Hiko Karambit, aka the knife that Hiko used to own. It is the one of the most infamous legendary skins in whole CSGO. It is Stat Track Minimal Wear. It is the number one double sided blue jam pattern. And it is the Hiko Karambit. This is the one that Hiko used to own, that he used to play with during all the tournaments. And this is probably worth around 80,000 to 100,000, maybe even more dollars. Okay. We're talking a lot of money. A lot of money. Sold for $900. $900. Deleted history. Deleted history. Uh, the item probably now is deleted. Yes. This is the skin right here. One of the most legendary skins in existence. What's about the No Star Karambit? Yes. That is one of the items that he as well used to own. Is there any track record on it yet, Booty? No, it still shows up in HFB's inventory. This is one of the most legendary items as well. The No Star Karambit, aka if you go to any skin starter base, this skin will always show us the number one lowest float on the skin because it has a bugged float. It got granted by the Steam support. It doesn't have a star like a usual Karambit vanilla or any uh, any knife compared to normal knife here there's a star no star on the Karambit vanilla I don't know where this item went I do hope that some of the items the hacker sent to his other accounts so that would mean that uh, Valve could actually do something you know, um, because it's not a situation where the item already is sold. Usually in hacks like these, Steam Authenticator is moved. So it is a big anomaly in terms of what we know from previous big hacks that he still has an active mobile authenticator on his account. HFB is luckily not inactive and is in talks with Steam support currently. The big question now is, granted items are disappearing from the buyers. Whether or not the trades get reverted, items bought with real cash by innocent traders on buff, Steam, Russian marketplaces, what will happen to them? Just unlucky or question mark? We have never seen this before. CSGO support undid one or more of your actions. People like Dead Killer, who bought one of the hacked items for $30,000, will never see that money again unless Steam dupes the item, which is insanely unlikely. I was shown this by one of my friends. I think they got returned. Yeah. And there we go. There's also the screenshot for the Pandora's box gloves, which is also returned. This right here probably is the same message as the as the AK Redline guy re uh, received. CSGO Steam has reverted some actions. I mean, the interesting thing that some people are getting community banned and some people are just getting getting deleted items. So I think they're just community banning people that like connected to this guy. The community bans happen first. Yes. And, now, and then they delete it. And now items are being deleted. Will items be duped? Uh, I don't know. I don't I don't think so. No, we are talking about a lot of a lot of skins, a lot of money, everything. There are so many eyes on this case and everyone has the has the mindset oh duping is not possible anymore. You know, it, it, Valve
fucked up back in the day with duping. I don't think they're gonna dupe the items in front of everyone's eyes. Because it also leaves doors for people to abuse that somehow, like back in the day, right? If HFP gets his item back, then everyone who gets scammed should get skins back. <sighs> I mean, yes and no. I, that argument is somewhat true, but do we rather have Steam support not taking action on anyone? Or maybe doing something doing something for once and taking action on, on some cases? And also not everyone has the most expensive inventory in CSGO, you know? It, I wouldn't take this one as a prime example of like, they only care in, uh, you know? It is the biggest inventory in CSGO. I, I think they should care. There's more items. Good oh my god, what, what, yeah. what? What does it mean? We didn't see these items. Chat, okay, one thing I have to tell you, because because we thought that HFB was just quick selling his items first, like I, I called Booty, I called uh, Anomaly, we were all three in a call, we were waiting for more items to get listed and maybe for us to snipe some items, right? We didn't know that it was a hack. And these items weren't listed. Booty, when did they get listed? Like right now or what? I think they just got into the 24 hours thing. They haven't they get, seen That they got there. added later? Yeah, they got added Maybe they confirmed later. the trade. Because one thing was as well, maybe which, which held the hacker down a little bit. Booty tried to list an item on this site right here, which is the Russian site where the guy sold some of the items, quick sold, right? And it did give an error. It, it like wasn't an error. You just cannot sell the items without like... You couldn't list yeah. them. But yeah, apparently two more souvenir dragon laws just got added. Like this is where the site showcases the most expensive sales in the last 24 hours where it's kind of easy to track which items the hackers is selling as we speak. And these were two of them. Two souvenir dragon laws. Um, what's the condition on them, Buddy? The condition factoring you to the top ones. Both of them. Yes. Oh, there's a third one. I didn't even see. In the third one is minimal wear one. What's the price on the FN ones? Is that 3.5 million rubles? Yep. 62,000 USD. Uh, 60k only you say yes, but the hackers are from Russia. I mean, it, 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 it's it's still so much money. I, it's not fully clueless. They sold the Hikoko Rabbit for 900 bucks. Keep that in mind. And they immediately, you have to think, who has $60,000 just laying around? That as well, you know? I, th I think that is actually a price which they valued fairly co correctly. They wanted to have the item sold maybe in like, probably in between like 30 minutes or something, I assume. They kind of maxed it out at that, I think, maybe. All of these items are getting banned as we speak. Not only that, but also deleted from the game. The buyer of the Stat Track Manual Forex ABP Redline is one of the victims of these actions. One of the victims of these actions. Yes and no. I mean, I don't know how this can get solved. So already all four souvenir dragon laws got um, got sold or sent to other accounts. Because I don't know, are all of these accounts just buyers or are they involved somehow? Is souvenir dragon law on this guy. So this guy had 60k ready. Another 60k ready. Because both of these sales were $60,000 US. Like, look at this. Like, look at this, you know? Like, uh, Four Dragon Laws, two of them being souvenir on the same account. Look, all of them. Look, this account wasn't banned before. Now it is. Now it is. When we started the stream, there was no ban on this account. I'm pretty, pretty sure. Now there is. And this is one more right here. Another Dragon Law. All of them. Same name. Who has the same name? Two last okay, ones. Okay, Bruder. Yeah. Okay. So a souvenir Dragon Law FN went to Forge 3382A and A. A completely different normal Dragon Law. Went to an account called Forge3381. Hmm, that's a little bit weird, no? Send this as well. Looks like the D laws are also gone. Wait, so, bro, I. Uh, no, no, no. This what? is what is happening. This is the way that they'll get rid of skins before Source 2. <laughs> shut up, Zippel, shut up. They're taking an exit. <laughs> Zippel, shut up. Everything is disappearing. Now is not the time. I want to see what happened with the scar patterns. Did those also get reverted? Who, what the fuck are these accounts? Oh, uh, some. Or one of the guys who I was talking to, yeah. one of the Russian dudes, they said but this is not founded by any proof but they said it could possibly be the hackers alt account or something and they're just trying to store it but <laughs> i don't know if i believe that look, look at this account look at this account i checked csgo float history Buddha. it's all hfp items seven items and it's all hfp it's the it's two of the most valuable items of his whole inventory this should i even say this i feel like maybe if this game i was watching right now he would have maybe sold these scar patterns for like a thousand bucks because in fact they're worth three thousand bucks i hope he's not hearing this right now because then he would profit oh you know? stop they're like they're only a thousand they're only a thousand they're only a thousand chat they're only a thousand okay how can i see how long an account exists yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ah, yeah. This year. Ah, yeah. A month ago. First of May. Arrow, you know, for, for you investigating into the stuff, you will get hacked next. Now you are targeted. Oh, no. I'm ending the stream. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta as well put some compliments in for the hackers. Chat, I do must say the hackers did a great job. They did a good, like, they hacked him perfectly. Like, it was well executed. Congrats, congrats. No, no, Hats no, but off. look at this. Yeah. Look at the one I just linked. This account was made. Four months ago. Yeah, that's also recent. Look at the steamity. Never stop 
in you. Let's check the other accounts. This account right here is another one. What do we have? Yeah, this must be uh, February. So as well an account that has been created this year. And look at the look at the ID. Leave in feed 11th and 12th. Wait, are you kidding me? Oh my God. One of the accounts that received souvenir drag uh, uh, souvenir dragon loss got created 12th of February. And the other account that received stat track M9 crimson web and some other stuff like souvenir dragon loss was created a day before. Oh my. The 11th okay, of February. Wait. That is... Uh... So these counts, accounts were 1 million percent involved with the hack. I think that's the best evidence we've we've seen. I'm clueless okay, in that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Someone just, someone just said in chat, you are doing too much searching, my friend. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm not doing anything. It's Arrow, not me. What? It wasn't me. I'm just, I'm screen, you're screen sharing to me. I'm sharing screen share the whole time from twitch.tv slash arrow underscore CSGO. Oh, stop. <laughs> Rambo says this account has a hundred HFB items and is banned as well. Yes, this is also one of the accounts, which is, I don't want to say look sus. Arrow said that on Discord that this guy looks sus and whoa, whoa, I don't whoa, agree, whoa. but bro, what did HFB have before? I think 500 skins at the beginning of the day. I'm not even kidding. Look at this because I got Maybe. so hyped. I always send booty the things that I want to make a clip about, right? At the beginning of the day, when I heard that HFB unprivated his inventory, I sent him this screenshot right here. Eight hundred thousand dollars where in his inventory and then all of a sudden i refreshed and then boom it went down to five hundred thousand i refreshed again it went down to four hundred thousand all the items got moved 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 um and i think at this point right at the beginning it was at round about a milli which is absolutely undervalued because it doesn't include overpay for floats which in some situations five times the price for some of his items and for blue gems sometimes it's a thousand times the prices not a thousand but like a hundred. That was at the beginning of the day. And I think that's when he had like 500 items. And one fifth of those items, aka 101, went to this guy right here. One fifth. D F E. Should be checked when this guy created his account. I will let Arrow do it. Arrow, if you want to, you can do it. I don't want to do it. Yeah, I'm I'm accidentally going on to his uh this steam rep right now. Okay, oh, let me, yo, yo, let me be careful, be careful. Okay, okay there wait, it is. I'm trying to leave. I'm trying to leave. There it is. DFE 105. Oh, no. no unique ID and look at the account creation date. It is again an account from this year um, back in March. Okay, then. All of the accounts round about the February and March time frame, which is a little bit weird. Why does this account only have HFB items? Only. No other items, no other track record with items. The account got created to be involved in the HFB hack. Okay, that's uh, that's something that Arrow could say at this point. What if Steam deletes it? Imagine they were never aware of the No Star Karambit and now they are just like, why, why is this a thing? Wait, hold up. And then they just <laughs> straight up delete it, imagine. <laughs> Wasn't there a market listing for it? What if the person sells it on market not knowing? Oh God, Baruda. We should put a buy order up for it. Wait, why did I say that on stream? I had a thought about it, but someone already put it to like 1,000. A thousand? Chat, someone put max buy order on that thing. Someone share the link in here and then if you actually get it let me buy it from you because that's you got right. the idea here i want it for 90 percent off okay i think that's a deal here's the link but that's my no, idea no it's my that's my idea i i it's sent idea. the idea to I you had the, I, had I had the idea the, i had the idea first it's my link i i had the buy out the highest 800 euros only chat bump that up to max buy out it Calm would down. be worth a lot max already yeah it makes sense it makes sense to ever put it first now congrats to you now it's at max 1600 smart guy uh, how much would it would it actually be worth i would estimate that it is still just a karambit but it shows everywhere as the number one item in the world you know it's an infamous item so many clips about it millions of views around this item probably like sixty thousand dollars eighty thousand dollars i could see that what's the perfect outcome here probably buff getting notified and them taking actions and taking the balance away somehow and same with the russian marketplace if the if the russian marketplace gets notified as well about the sales that did happen the fraudulent sales right you could say um that they can maybe revert somehow the balance freeze the balance i don't know i don't know how fast the the, the hacker is acting maybe he already cashed out crypto because the russian marketplace is dealing with crypto i don't know it, it seems to be a very very planned out attack booty yeah. Keep your skin safe. I'm quick selling them. You know what it could be? What? You know what it could be? They're doing all this just to get us hyped up for a new case. Zippel said they do all this so they can like get rid of skins and release sauce too. That's actually a good idea as well. <laughs> what is this? It's less stuff to export over, you know? No, the number one dealer is permanent. 
No way he sold the Blizzard for $900. <lacht> OMG, I can't believe he got hacked. He lost so many money. <lacht> no, it hit Valve. I'm returning the items. I don't even remember. I have a Steam account. <lacht> Big brain. <lacht> true. And this is HFB himself. <lacht> it is true. HFB hasn't logged in in years, apparently. He is rich as f I, I, like, he probably cares because it's a lot of time that he invested into collecting these skins. They are clearly, they mean something to him. They mean a lot to him, right? It's more like sentimental. Did PSP get hacked as well or what? All right, let's see, my, let's see my skins of that chat. No, this is real. He actually got hacked. Where are my skins? <laughs> Shut up. 